Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Keen Tools for Blender or Nuke. Now, this is not a new software, but they did just update it to be more compatible with the Unreal Engine 5 Mesh to Human plugin. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the main software. And if you go right here, click Read More. They do have a video that we're going to go check out, and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. So let's go ahead and press Play. Okay, so that is the video. Now, obviously, I did some photogrammetry with faces last year using reality capture, but there's just a couple of things in this tool here that kind of caught my attention that I think is a freaking great idea. Now, first and foremost, if you've created a MetaHuman in the MetaHuman Creator tool, you know that it just does not have enough control points to really pretty much form a shape or edit a shape of the face. So with this right here, as you can see, I'm going to mute this real quick. Uh, you have a little bit more control. Now, obviously, as far as images go, there's still a lot of photos you got to work with. So as you can see that you can pretty much just move the mesh around the face using the pictures to kind of help guide you, which I can. Can you imagine this built in the meta human creator tool? Anyways, so yeah, that I really do like because it gives you a lot more control. And additionally, it does let you export the textures from the photos you're taking and making a meta human texture preset out of it. And then what you can do is just Photoshop. Uh, this is only 2K, by the way. So I know you're probably looking at it. Uh, that looks like Shiza. But this is only 2K. Uh, it looks like the, the meta human texture, you can Photoshop it on top of the meta human texture characters so you can get those imperfections as you can see right here because obviously a lot of people when they make meta humans they just look all perfect people aren't like that you know you're gonna have imperfections just like moles and pimples and so on and so forth so this is pretty cool i really do like this idea that you can just kind of photoshop your textures on top of the meta human textures which to be honest if you look at this result right here this is not bad. I mean, the lighting could have been approved a little bit, but for you to sculpt this from scratch, let's just put it that way, it's going to take a lot more skills and time. And I've seen, honestly, if you watch the best MTV Movie Awards category, those videos there, compare it to this. I mean, honestly, I can do this at home versus, you know, those professionals who worked on those videos. This is not bad, I'm telling you. And additionally, you can pretty much create an amazing model, but it won't move. That's why I think the Mesh to Meta Human plugin is really just breaking boundaries right now because it's insane. This is rig. You know, in 30 minutes, you can create this character. It's just unheard of. Um, if you want to know more about this process, you can click on this guide right here and they'll break it down a little bit more. Now, unfortunately, this is not free. It is paid, uh, but I think they do have a trial that you can try right now. Uh, you can do automatic face alignment or you can do it manually by using multiple pictures, which I think that's the best way to go. And again, let's talk about the meta human textures there and then mesh the meta human plugin right here. So I am gonna try and get somebody to kind of demonstrate this on the channel uh, so you can kind of see how this works from like beginning to end. 
uh, because yeah, this is this is pretty darn cool and it's so exciting. All right, what do y'all think about this new tool? Is it does it look cool? Is it interesting enough? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, see y'all later.